Hello fellow crafters, it's Karen here, the Weekend Craftaholic, and I've got one of my favourite super quick projects for you to try here. Perfect for beginner sewers like myself, it's the DIY mini bean bag. Now you just need two pieces of fabric, I've got the measurements on screen for you here, and you can see that we're just going to cut a couple of rectangles basically. So this is a great project because we're just doing straightforward straight stitch on these. So if you cut your two pieces, I would recommend a plain fabric so we, you don't need to worry about the seams matching with the pattern. But then we're going to put them uh, right sides together so we've got the wrong sides facing out. You can see here that I'm not bothering to pin or tack these in any way because this project is very forgiving. There's no need for accuracy, it's a nice little bean bag that's quite flexible. With your seam allowance, again, it really does depend on you. As you can see, I normally sew right to the edge of this seam. Just a normal quick straight stitch. Don't forget to do your reverse stitch at the start and the end of the project. And when you reach a corner like this, just keep your needle in and then you can easily spin the fabric around and then start down on your next line. So you can see I've got a little bit of a wider seam allowance here. It really doesn't matter. Don't concern yourself with that, but the main thing is to keep your needle in as you turn. The other thing that's really important is obviously doing that reverse stitch at the start and the end, because that really will strengthen the seam as well. So I'm just coming to the end of this here, and you see I'm doing the reverse stitch now. And then just snipping off those ends. I would also recommend snipping the corners, so be very careful you don't cut into your stitch line. Again, this is going to be important because when we turn it the right side out, it'll get rid of the bulk, it'll make it a little bit easier to get into the corners. I'm also going to cut away some of that extra uh, fabric that's now part of that seam allowance. So I've just put this on fast forward for you. You can see I am left handed, so it is always very awkward for me to cut these, especially whilst I'm trying to make it visible to the camera. So I hope you can see that okay. Just make sure you don't cut into the actual stitch line you've just done. Then when you turn it the right way out, I would obviously recommend at this point, once it's turned this way, you give it a quick press on the iron so your seams are nice and flat. But you'll see we end up with like a little pillow. Now I've got this huge big bag of beans, you get these at any, um, any store I guess, um, and then we're going to stuff it. Now this is the only tricky part, so I am showing you this twice. First of all in slow motion, stuff your beans in the bag, I find this is the easy way. You lie it down as though it is a little bit of a cushion or a pillow, but then grab the center and then pull it outwards. So we've then got our seams meeting in the middle. Now you should always try to match your seams. I like to leave this off center just a tiny bit because this is thick fabric and I want my needle to glide through it. But um, obviously normally you would look to match your seams. We're turning that outside edge in slightly because we're gonna stitch directly over it. So here it is again on normal speed, we've got a little cushion, I'm reaching for the centre, I'm going to open it out like I would a bag of crisps and then I get my seams meeting in the middle. So with the fabric turned in, we're going to pin that um, together quite nicely because we have got all those beans inside, we don't want them to come out. I'm just using some um, quilting um, clips I guess, um, rather than pins. I just find them a little bit easier, not as fiddly when I'm on the machine. <clears throat> and then on this side. Now, it, you can um, obviously sew this before you stuff it. Um, you could leave a little opening, but I think it's um, so much easier doing it all in the one hit. And you can see this is what our finished product's going to look like. So again, reverse stitch at the start and the end. I fast forward this again for you, but just make sure you put the little foam balls out the way of the stitch line. And that's where I'm filling around a little here, here, just pushing them out of the way. And then now I can go all the way down the line rather than try and match it up later. And it really is as quick as that. I would say it's a 10 minute project. Um, this size is great for the normal size iPad, but um, you can do the smaller one as well. Um, I'll just show you now with my iPad mini. Um, Depending on how much beads you put in, depends how flexible they'll be. Here I've used the same pattern on a smaller scale um, for pattern weights. So these are what I use for um, dressmaking as my pattern weights. I've actually stuffed these with lentils rather than those foam balls because obviously I do need that weight. But rice, lentils, anything like that would really add to that weight. 
I hope that's given you some inspiration. Thank you for watching. And if you like what you see, please come and visit me again. Thank you very much.